Hello and welcome to a new quote from me by Emma Shriyamatov Zikarim. And this is. Mirror of the Truth. I do environmental videos and I do videos about animal rights and philosophy. Ethics. Some history and stuff like that. So, if you like that, check out and forget not to subscribe to my channel. And let me start. Um, first, the first quote of today is This world gives enough for anybody's needs, but not enough for anybody's greed. This will all say that there is enough food for anybody. There is enough care for anybody, but if others take and take and take without having enough, acting like a parasite, this will be not the case. And I don't be only talking about in our species, uh, in the first world. I also mean that there is enough for all other living beings who don't belong to our species. Our current economical system is totally, and I repeat, totally based on greed. Around 10,000 years ago, around 99% of the world's biomass was wild animals. Today, the animals our species eats and the animals that we are take up around 98% of all the biomass of the earth. Just 2% is wild animals. You can also look at it in another way. Just 8 rich, mostly white guys own around the same amount of total wealth as the poorest 50% of the population and that includes their lives, the lives of the people that live there include anything they have, holy crap and around two of the richest guys in the United States own the half of the people in the United States. Holy crap! <laughs> and people in the United States are so glad to uh, suck the sea of the United States capitalism and not trying to find an alternative. Sorry, guys and girls. It is time to become sane again. We're just time to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of ecology. First, the strength of an ecosystem is dependent on diversity between it, which means you need a large amount of different species playing different roles in an ecosystem to have a healthy environment. Second, there is a limit in finite resources. That means that you have to cater, have to put on a foundation the capitalist and free market system. You don't can have an unlimited free market system in this damn time. We are killing our planet. Get a reality check. Privileged. Brats. We have to look, have to share anything. And we have to stop praising billionaires 
when they are giving 1% of their wealth away, when they still have far more than the rest of the world and not celebrating if somebody house poor gives around 50% of their wealth away, anything they have left if they have get food. Yes, I know that 1% of the billionaires far more than the than the 15% or 50% of the peers in house poor. But the attention... The rich guys can do far more. That's the point. All animals, all animal species also work in, on symbiotic relationship with each other. For example, um, the uh, pistol shrimp and the go beef fish. One is blind and depends on the vision of the goby fish to survive. How is constant looking out for danger? The pistol shrimp connects himself with his atan to the goby fish. Because, like I say, the um, pistol shrimp is blind. And then we also have the um, golden baboons and the um, uh, African elephants. Uh, how work together? Um, uh, live in harmony. We have also the algae eaters and fish and the um, hippos. The algae eaters eat all the crap from the body of the hippos and give him a cleaning surface like oh, he lives in a spa. In a resort, baby. Many animals live in such symbiotic relations. Wealth is like drinking seawater. The more you drink, the more you want. Like Arthur Schopenhauer said, it's true. People seem to get addicted to the wealth, are becoming entitled when they become richer, thinking that they deserve more than their half, thinking that they are so special, a oh, special little princes and princesses. How he is like kings and queens. I think that their food choice is so much more important than the lives of others. Think that because they want to eat their hamburgers, others have to suffer. And to justify that behavior, you're spoiled little brats. Your spoiled, overprivileged, pampered princes and princesses of the first matrix. You can eat beans, that's one of the most cheapest stuff you can eat. Rice, it's also very cheap. You can eat bananas, most of the time very cheap. Since when are that kind of stuff privileged food? Yes, blueberries can be sometimes expensive. Specifically if you are buy them in the winter or in times they don't grow. So stop making stop saying that veganism is so expensive. You can make it expensive, but it have not to be expensive. If you eat like me, you eat for four euros a Day. Or sometimes even less. 
So, I eat beans sometimes, but majority of the time I eat uh, vegetables, and fruits, and rice. And then the most of the rice that I eat most of the time are um, long grain rice uh, from rather old China, I think they are called. Um, from the not so much industrialized part of China, I think. Um, that's I can ask my um, rice dealer about that, where the rice actually comes from, but I think they come from not so worse place in China, because the person who works in the shop is grown up in China and is Chinese. And uh, not all Chinese people eat dogs, which is like not all Americans are rednecks. It is far more sustainable to live on a plant-based diet. If you eat only plants, it takes so much less land. You can feed one person on a plant-based diet on just one sixth of an acre of land. On average. But a person on the standard American diet you need 3 to 3.2 acres of land made. And if you are eating mostly animal corpses, you need something around 14 acres of land. If you are an extremely heavy flesh eater and you eat mostly to only animal flesh, then you are an Literally, eco-terrorist. Changed my mind. I do any Thursday live stream. I like to debate you and prove you wrong. If you think otherwise. On one acre of land, you can grow around... Five, uh, 50,000 pounds of potatoes. Around 40,000 pounds of tomatoes, 30,000 pounds of carrots, but just uh, 200 pounds of animal flesh. And, and that's because it takes around from 5 to 26 pounds of, of plant food to create one pound of, of animal flesh. So it works like a protein and a carbohydrate factory in reverse. The animals shit out proteins, the animals shit out carbohydrates, they shit out um, micronutrients into the waters and then we get over fertilization and then we get more and more ocean dead zones Funny fact, in 1915, we just had half around 50 ocean dead sounds. Today we have around 500. <laughs> Think about it, people. Think about we are dropping shit in the oceans. We are dropping blood in the oceans of the animals we are murdering as a species. We are dropping a lot of gross stuff there. Along, along with the fact that around, according to the FAO, 50% of all the food is animal food that we harvest. According to my statics that I make myself, that number can be as high as 70%. So I will say that at least 65% of all the food worldwide is animal feed, or 70% of the, all the corn on the planet is animal feed, uh, around 80% of all the soy on the planet is animal feed, around, I suggest also around 
60 to 80 percent of all the grains because um, a lot of animals eat a combination uh, the living factor from a combination of corn sorn um, grains and so yes a combination of that kind of ships and also look on the amount of for the amount of animals we are in a year kill around 70 billion land animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals <laughs> not because of survival because of greed because of gluttony pap of little princesses and princes spoiled if you in it's from the age of five you can actually convince people to believe a lot of absurdities and like Voltaire all tells us is that people who can let you believe absurdities can let you commit atrocities and that is true look to what Hitler have convinced the German population to do when he was giving the blame giving the punch to the Jews, to the gypsies, and make the hatred that the German population did have for those groups of people make even worse. The first thing young people should learn is how to think for themselves. It is okay to listen to what anybody else has to say, but when it comes to make a conclusion, you have to weigh anything on its own. It don't come to your own conclusion. If you are going to go by what other people have to say, you find sometimes that you are going west when you think you were going south, and you are going north when you're going believing that you're going north. Those people will let you let to places you are not thinking you are going to. A quote of this was a quote of um, Malcolm X, basically. Show me a capitalist and I'll show you a bloodsucker. He is nothing more than a bloodsucker. Another one of Malcolm X. He was talking about the American capitalists. How we're blind and we're so thinking that they are doing so great work. When they are sucking the life force out of other countries. Because you don't can have wealth without sucking it around somebody else. You don't can create something out of nothing. You have to destroy. You have to steal. You have to scheme out. That's how the capitalist system works. It praises the most manipulative. The ones who can tell you the, the best story about the economy they don't praise environmentalists they are often seen as terrorists when in fact it is the other way around if you look it rationally if you are learn to think for yourself instead of going on with what your society tell you like a drone like a tool like a thing, like an automaton. There are many very poor capitalist countries. For example, capitalist Nigeria, capitalist Nigeria, capitalist the Republic of Nigeria, and many more. Capitalism does not create wealth. Nothing can create wealth. Wealth exists and is stolen and is taken and is given wealth in the economical sense this also not exists it is an illusion the whole monetary paper system is made up it is an illusion this a lie the federal reserve in the united states can give anybody a trillion 
American dollars if they want. But they don't do it because that's bad for the economy. They get then so much inflation that basically the dollar will be worthless. Um, but you also have the um, European uh, National Bank in France. How is uh, word, how can actually uh, make tons and tons of euros? Would is actually also quite insane. Actually, quite insane that we actually allow a bank to make credit, make currency. Do you need constant one new currency if you are? working with the monetary system we have today. If I, this is basically how the economical system works. I give you an euro or dollar and you spend it by somebody else that makes another dollar and then the next one on the circle makes another dollar and goes to the bank and then you have uh, four dollars and then the five person in the cater and make them six dollars because the bank makes dollars from nothing make euros from nothing there are only codes in a computer and it is the most biggest scheme we ever have created the last one from mr maloney the hidden secrets of money theory I don't agree with it. What's fifty percent? I think what he says specifically when he are talking about that there is something a sustain sustainable version of capitalism. Uh, but I don't I do not disregard disregard anything he says just because I don't agree with the idea of capitalism. In his essence, I'm not a straw man warrior. I am a truth seeker and I'm an environmentalist, first and foremost. I am fighting for the health of the environment and of other earthlings. When darkness and light become one, the reality is away and the truth become visible. 